I'm Jack Midlands Metalheads Radio, and I'm here with the boys from Chelsea Green. Do you want to just introduce yourselves first? I'm Pablo, and I play drums. I'm Tom, and I yell like a banshee. Good description, to be fair. So, it's been a year since you guys were last in the UK. I mean, maybe not so much the year with Chelsea Green. Yeah. But, um, so how has it been so far, like, especially since now the last date? UK, UK leg. It's been incredible so far. I mean, everybody's been super receptive, and a lot of people are coming on having a good time. What do you think? Uh, yeah, I think everyone's having a real fun time. Um, it's definitely one of the, I mean, it's hard to say because it's only been a week, but so far it's been more successful than any headliner we've done uh, yeah. to date. So I we're all very always good excited. Sign, always good sign. Yeah. So now you are in the UK, you've been here for about a week. Is there anything in the UK that you can get or like do you can't in the US? That sort of you wish you could get authentic UK accents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The accent I can imagine nice that, treat. I imagine that's a harder thing to do in the US. <laughs> to be honest, yeah. Yeah, everyone tries to do it, and everyone sounds like idiots. So uh, we yeah. like getting the real thing. Nice, it was good. Well, we like the food. I would say the food, kebabs. Kebabs. I live on kebab when I'm here. Yeah, all good. Nice every day. Night. Kebabs every And night. the shopping is really good. You guys have the best shoe selection ever. <laughs> So we, we go out and try to scout for cool shoes every day. When we get the chance. So, do you get much chance to do that? Mm-mm. No. Not much. Busy, busy, busy. Uh, no, he just likes to sleep. Uh, it's not true. I enjoy going places. It's just sometimes when we get to some place, it's like by the time you get to bed, it's 4 a.m. Yeah. And then by the time you wake up, it's like 12. So you're like, like barely getting yourself to get up. And then you're like here. Would you like to sleep another hour or would you like to get shoes? And you're like, I love both. It's just, I'll sleep. And you like sleep for a little bit longer. Yeah, that's fair, that's fair. Um, so you say you think the tour's gone pretty well then? Yeah, absolutely. Definitely one of the best. I'm ones. very happy. Yeah. That's good. It's no complaints, good. no complaints. I haven't seen the show today, so hopefully it's good, but every UK day has been insane. That's always good, man. That's good. Um, so like, I know you've just finished doing the Warped Tour uh, back in the US. Now you've kind of you finished that, like, how, how was that whole entire experience? Especially now you can like, reflect on it. It was incredible because we uh, we didn't know what to expect, you know, with the lineup change. Yeah. And so as soon as we dropped uh, the Dead Rose video and announced Tom, you know, that was a big weight off our, sh- uh, off our shoulders. So we were really excited. But we were nervous to see how it was going to go, you know, in front of people. Yeah. So, but from the very first day, it was insane, and it was nothing short the rest of the tour. So, yeah, I I couldn't have asked for a better way to spend my last warp tour. That's good, man. That's good. That was Tom's first warp tour ever. Yes, that's yeah. so that's that was cool. ridiculous. It was a very good time. Very hot, but a very good time. It looked incredibly hot. For the pictures too. It was, dude. Hey, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> we were going to right? Obviously. Right, Tom. Yeah. I need to. <laughs> it's understandable. Yeah. So, um. How does it differ playing shows like this in the UK, like uh, more intimate venues compared to that of Warped Tour? What are the crowd differences? Oh man, there's like no, there's no feeling like Warped Tour, because um, you play to a, a ridiculous amount of people every day, and for some reason, being out in the hot sun, it makes people just go extra hard and they're extra crazy. And not that people don't go crazy in the club, but. There's just something about being outside where everyone is just sweating to loud music that just makes them go like the extra step to do some crazy shit. So the shows are just out of control. And I guess for us too, you know, only having to play a half hour and it's hot and you're sweaty and you're just like, whatever. I don't know. Where I feel like I, I'm inclined to have more fun in that setting so and I kind of take it a little more serious when we are headlining in a club and I'm like okay I can't get that drunk to play cause yeah. I gotta, you know like on a warp tour we, we just hang out hang out and have fun and that like that's the main priority obviously you still yeah you don't want to play bad but I think it just being outside and in that environment just makes you go a little more crazy so how was it being your first warp tour then as the uh, vocalist o- overwhelming yeah, because it just you know I just said it a million times just didn't still doesn't feel like my band you know so it's it's crazy to hear you know a band you know the band name being chanted like in Utah 
people freaked out and were so excited for them to play. It was just like, it felt like a hometown show for me, and I wasn't even from there, so it was just like really overwhelming, and it's still so fresh to me. But Warp Tour is definitely one of the the best experiences I'll ever I'll ever have and probably ever remember. Yeah, shame can't go to it now. You never know. Maybe, maybe one day. Out. Maybe one day it'll come back. Yeah. So now you're a four piece. How's that affected the dynamic of the band, like on stage, for example, or even just in the studio? In the studio, it was kind of just you know let less cooks in the kitchen so in yeah. that sense it kind of made it easier to to write and make decisions and i think on stage steven and david are really happy to have the extra room yeah but you know we we do miss jake and the band of course but he's enjoying his time at home having his little family and yeah you know and that's you can't be upset with someone for that you know so obviously we're we're very happy for him and um uh, yeah i just I think it's just less less people is just easier to deal with, I guess. Do you still get a chance to um, see the old guys? Do you like hang out? Yeah, we all we all live in the in the same area, so we try to get together when we can. Everything going all right with them with the yeah. So he's been accepted to medical school. And yeah, yeah, Dan's doing great. Yeah. Well, he's stressed because you know it's medical school. Oh yeah, it's but, not going to be easy, <laughs> is it? Otherwise, we'll yeah. Be but he's having a good time. He really likes it, Jake. Like I said, he's. At home being a dad and Alex is just uh, working on taking care of himself yeah. and uh, still releasing new music and stuff so that's good yeah everyone's nice doing all right it's good everyone's doing well yeah, yeah. so I so said we can't really avoid the topic of the lineup change and stuff so how did you get involved with the band once like Alex had announced his departure and such uh, I mean I've known the guys for I would say a little bit a little bit of time and shared a few tours with them and got to connect with them, chill out, you know, so, I mean, when they were going through, I know they had a couple people in mind, yeah. and a couple people fell through, and, you know, it came to me to be asked, and then from there, I just, I thought about it for, like, a good, long yeah. hour, <laughs> 20 minutes, and yeah. uh, I called them back, and I said, yeah, I would love the opportunity to come Sorry, give it a yeah. shot. And here we are on this on this casting couch, giving giving you the all, you know. I do appreciate it. There we are. No, we're chatting it up, baby. We're having a good time. So this eternal, uh, the eternal nightmare album. How did that sort of all come to fruition, especially with the whole turbulent time, shall we say, with the lineup changes? So we had all the instruments written um, before heading to the studio, and um, Alex had his parts written as well. But once uh, he left in the first week of being in the studio, so um, rather than bothering to to use his material and having to deal with stuff like that, we just uh, took it upon ourselves to to write um, all the vocals and the lyrics. So David and our producer Drew uh, did most of the lyric writing, and then between uh, Drew, David, myself, and Tom, and everybody, we kind of placed them together and arranged it and did all that. Uh, Tom wrote, I think, three songs lyrically. And David did about the rest. So, I mean, it was it was stressful for about a week where we had no singer and no idea who was gonna be the singer or what we were gonna do. Yeah. But once uh, once Tom got in and we kind of caught rhythm with, with uh, working with him and with Drew, it was awesome and easy and became eternal nightmare for lunch time towards the end though dude that shit was stressful yeah so stressful did you find like it um the adjustment hard joining chelsea green no because i love them they're great like, guys you know so it would be different if i was going into a new job where i didn't like the workers that my new establishment yeah. i went to the new job knowing all no, the guys yeah. and knowing that they're great dudes yeah. So that's just like getting ready for the first day of school, seeing your friends in class. You know, you're just like, fuck yeah, this is sick. I know yeah. this is going to be a good time. Okay, that's, that's always good. Um, so do you think the reception of this new album has been quite positive, would you say? Yeah, yeah. We, we, well, we didn't know what to expect, but yeah. we knew there would be some hate. But I think there was very little hate to what we expected. So, And I mean, the the these shows show for it as well you know people know that we are playing the album in its entirety and they're coming out they're showing up singing the words fucking going crazy so yeah i think this album was a huge success for us 
So you say some of the hate that because I know you used to get a bit of hate when you started. Yeah. <laughs> Do you reckon that slowed right down now? Is it like? Yeah, it it's definitely just stopped. More positive I, vibes. you know, there's some random kids that will that will always be a diehard Alex fan, and that's Does, you're always gonna get trolls. And, I mean, that's yeah. okay. Yeah. You know, at that point, you know, at first it was a little overwhelming because I wasn't used to so much negativity in my life. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. There's negativity in my life, but that's it was just so constant, so on the daily that I wish that I could say something, but I don't because I don't want them to know that it would affect me. Yeah. So I would just either A, not go on my Instagram for weeks at a time, or B, just leave it on red. You know, what's worse than being led on red, left yeah. on red? Yeah, that's even worse than It's lying. worse. Yeah. It's like, I, I see that you wrote something, and I still care enough to say anything back. That's fair. You know what I'm saying? I've got a mature way to deal with that. Oh, dude, if I could have. Yeah. <laughs> if I could have. I would have said some shit. Right. <laughs> what was some, what was some of the worst things that you've been said? You you kill yourself. Him. You'll never be Alex. I hope not. I, <laughs> I don't have the same genes as him. I hope I wouldn't be Alex. Um, just mean shit. Just general. Just general. Just mean sure, shit. Yeah. You know, but they're kids. Kids are gonna say mean shit. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Stuff you can do, really. Is bad. They wouldn't say it to your face. Nah, they wouldn't. Because if they did, they'd be buying me shoes. <laughs> I'd walk them to the store and they'd hold on to my pocket. And I'd say, I want those shoes. So, then, right there. I'd want those ones. And then they say they wouldn't have enough money, and then they'd get me the shoes. <laughs> and then we'd I get no Pablo up there. Yeah, what he's even talking about. Get Pablo <laughs> <up> there, <laughs> All I know is you guys love your shoes. Jailhouse rules. Oh, Hold my pocket. I'm daddy. Stop it. I've been in the jail. Have you? No. That's, gonna say, <laughs> like, that, that's new to me, that one. I've like, watched, I've watched a, enough uh, prison documentaries, though. And I know not to drop the soap. Yeah, no one Promise. wants to drop the soap. Promise. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I mean, you can drop it if you want to. Yeah. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah. we're Depends not going to stop it. Depends on the kind of mood you're in. Exactly, man. Yeah, thank you. So, I'll say sort of finally, as you probably expect me to ask, what's next for Chelsea Green? Where are we going from here? Uh, Belgium. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's more of a white chap. Yeah, we got That's the... a lot more specific. <laughs> okay, we just look a bit... Further ahead, we a few got, more we months. We the tour of the White Chapel this winter, and then um, we're working on more international stuff. We're hoping to get back to Australia and South America, but uh, nothing set in stone yet. We're still working out the details, and then um, we should be doing the uh, American leg of the Eternal Nightmare tour as well. Yeah. Um, nothing set in stone at all. We're just, just taking it as it comes. Taking it, yeah, yeah. That's fair. And anything else you'd like to say to? I would like to let everyone know that Eternal Nightmare is available. Pick it up, listen to it, jam it, show your friends. And to anyone outside of the UK watching this, come to a show. We got two weeks left, and uh, you don't want to miss it. It's going to be a good tour. Anything you want to say, final words? Be don't, nice to Tom. Don't do drugs. Yeah. Stay in school. Um, I love you guys. Nice, short and sweet. Short and sweet. I like that. Yeah, yeah, I love you guys. I love, you guys. I love them. them. I love them too. I love them first. This be a monogamous relationship. <laughs> yeah. We all love you guys out there. So I've been Jack with Midlands Birds Radio. These been the guys from Chelsea Green. Yeah. See you later.